Okay, so this is, I got really inspired by making the last Frozen book. And this is another um, book. It is not a little golden book. It is a big golden book, which is um, like 11 by um, eight and a half or nine. I measured it a little while ago. I don't remember exactly what the measurement is, but it's a much bigger book than the little golden book. And I did it as a, um, a three ring punch and I used some little one and a half inch rings. And if I flip this this way, I made a little um, ribbon braid with, so I did two different ribbons that I kind of hooked over the top. I'm calling it a, a macrame loop. Um, and then I tied one other little ribbon on here. And so there's some like kind of loose little, um, little threads there, which is just part of the charm. And I made a ribbon braid and then I kind of looped it around again, this other little um, ring and I did that for the third ring as well. And then I kept going a little bit. And so we have a bit of a tail and then have a little bit of a dangle here on the tail. And that's how I did that. I've never done that before. And just thought that would be kind of fun to do. I actually sort of was dreaming about that the other night. Um, anyhow, so this is actually a, um, a headband that I'm taking that off um, that I utilized to make a closure. And these are little ribbon tabs that I made and I'm just sort of reaching over to grab one. Um, so maybe a few months ago, um, there was some, uh, there's a big sale at Joann's and they had these frozen two ribbons and they say things like destiny awaits and um, time to myself and things along those lines. And I just thought these are super adorable. I personally, I'm putting that to the side. I personally have not seen frozen two, but my gosh, even if it's just halfway as good as frozen one, it's, it's going to rock. So, um, anyhow, so, th uh, this is a new reindeer friend and inspired by, uh, the frozen series. And let's just do a little flip through the book. And so I'm just gonna do this like this. So I have these cute little um, little jewels that I put on the book, and um, I did something thematically similar. This is a sparkle washi tape. That's lots of fun. And basically, oops, let's kind of put you over there. Um, so I bought some frozen papers. Um, they're officially, I want to say they were made by the Cricut company and I have coordinated those in along with some other papers. And what I did with the ribbon tabs is I kind of fold them over. I glued it from one side to the other. And then I also put a little staple there just for a little extra reinforcement. We have various, um, stick notes, lots of washi tape. It's really just tried to um, coordinate everything. Fun papers. This is actually a G um, paper made by Jane Davenport and I can't find it anymore. And I, if anyone knows where I can get more of that, I would love to procure it because I just love these colors. This is um, a suggestion that I saw on YouTube and somebody, I want to say it was Pam from the Paper Outpost. Um, and she called it Franken paper, where you take these um, paper strips and then you glue them together to make like one big um, page. And you know, why not? So this is a big stick note, more washi tape, different um, little notes here. And I'm just kind of continuing with the flip. I don't have anything in this little bag, but it's extra cute or washi tape. This is um, little activity suggestions. Those were from uh, the dollar spot at Target. So those are kind of sweet and cute. Um, did a little bit of washi here on the bottom to coordinate. It's more of that Jean Davenport paper, um, more note cards. And I really like using um, different colorful paper clips. And so I get colorful paper clips whenever I see them. Um, this is an old calendar from, um, I want to say it's Mary Englebright, um, a note card. These are some little 
um, note cards that I just kind of made into like a little flip. Washi tape design, some little stick notes, and I kind of coordinate and here, washi tape and different stickers to coordinate with the page over there. And I apologize for not having my um, tripod. My husband is upstairs sleeping, which is where the tripod is set up and where I usually do my videos, but I didn't want to wake him up. And I was just super psyched by um, by my little creation here this evening. And I really just wanted to get it down on video because that's the way I am. So here is a little flip and some note cards and more of the little felt. So, and just kind of moving along. Lots of different elements going on here. This I made from the felt mini poster. Um, it's like the back of the, the packaging there. And there's a little um, mind game, little um, little card, some um, note paper, and we have little tickets, and these will pull out of the little pocket. Um, I'm not going to pull this out, but there's some vintage stationery in here. It's basically like the same kinds of um, color scheme that's going on here, and I, I glued some little half pearls down on there to indicate that you can pull that up. We have some little jewels, another little um, activity card, and I've got a lot going on on this page, and I dig it because um, weirdly all the colors go together, and um, you wouldn't think that it does, but it coordinates pretty nicely with everything on the story. So here's another little note card. Here's some computer printer paper, some um, activity pages from like a little kid's um, coloring book that is frozen. And these are like a medication caps. Um, somebody had asked, well, what do you do with medication caps? Well, I use them just like a button and they come in different colors and I get them at the hospital that I work for and that's pretty cool. This is, um, I got this from uh, AC Moore. They are going out of business and there were some of these little, I guess they're almost like kind of like a little pencil pouch or, you know, you can put special little things in here. So I think that a little girl who gets this is just gonna, you know, just have lots of fun with that. More note cards. This is actually from a little kid's board book that I cut up and just kind of utilized that as a type of a large journaling card. This is Jane Davenport um, washi tape. And I just think that it really goes nicely with that page there. So this is another cutout. Um, I think it looks like a postage stamp. This is um, just from an, uh, like, a, like a little food package. It was like from Christmas time. So more note cards. I'm just trying to kind of go through here. Our little flip, and like um, bead tape and more note cards. Here's another piece. I'm trying to flip that up of the, um, the little board book. And I put that with some um, note paper and, um, oh, I'm entertained by myself. So in this part of the story, the little baby reindeer is trying to go up the little ice ramp and he couldn't and he fell. So I put this little, nope, no, I couldn't go up. Just trying, I need help from my friends. And then um, she gets help from her little friends. And that is super cute. Okay, more uh, coordinating papers and note cards. And this is just like a glitter paper. This is actually a napkin that I decoupage down along with more of those little, um, those little dimensional beads and um, the um, tape sticker um, and a cute little doily. This here is a from a giant workbook, Disney, frozen coloring book and I just stuck this in here inside of the pocket. Around here and we have more little papers. Sorry for the glare. This is from that little um, 
the mini posters and I cut it out with the pinking shears and it looks like a stamp and I, I think that's lots of fun. More of the board book. And this is from another book that was a frozen book and I cut that out and um, it's not the whole story but I did a little like a little mini little book there on the part of a little mini book and coming towards the end here. Um, so this is the back, inside back cover. There was some really significant damage to this page. And so I kind of come close. I covered most of it with some washi. There's, there's still, you know, a little bit of damage peeking out, but I didn't want to do more washi than that. Um, but I tried to coordinate that with the inside cover. And this is the back of the book. And that is the end of my frozen reindeer friends, new reindeer friend book.